Hello kids, this is Mr. Whistler with your video lesson of the day. And today we will be discussing African Americans and women in the Civil War. Now, in the South, Southerners did not want to use slaves to fight because they were worried about a slave rebellion. They did not want to give the slaves guns. And back in 1831, they had a slave rebellion. A lot of people died. So they were kind of afraid, always in the back of their mind, that the slaves could rebel. So they did not want them to fight for the South. Towards the end of the war, though, the South was losing and they became desperate. And General Lee actually supported using slaves to fight in exchange for their freedom. It never happened, and it kind of makes sense that it never happened, because if you were a slave, would you want to fight for slavery? So it just never happened. In the North, at the start of the war, African Americans were not permitted as soldiers, but they did allow them in the Navy. Here's some African Americans and sailors. Um, escaped slaves were used as guides and spies like Harriet Tubman. And in 1862, they decided to allow blacks to serve in the army. So when they made that rule, many enlisted. By the end of the war, 10% of the army was African American, 18% of the Navy, and they had 200,000 serving in all. So African American soldiers, at first the African American soldiers got lower pay until they found out about it and um, protested. So in 1864 these protests led to equal pay. They did not serve with white soldiers. They had their own regiments. Uh, one of the most famous was the 54th Massachusetts, and it was led by white abolitionist officers. When Lincoln was criticized for using black soldiers, he just quoted General Grant, whom everyone loved, and he said in a letter that Grant sent to him, they will make good soldiers, and taking them away from the enemy weakens him in the same proportion they strengthen us. So the question here is, who are they in the quote? African Americans. So basically, when somebody criticized Lincoln for using African Americans, he said, well, Grant said they make good soldiers, and they would go, oh, okay. Everybody loved Grant. Many Southerners were outraged. Uh, they threatened to execute any black soldiers they captured, and um, in some cases they did. Remember, usually when soldiers were captured, they were put in prisoner of war camps. They didn't do that to African Americans. They executed them. Slaves who saw black Union soldiers were overjoyed. Slaves had never seen a black man be anything but a slave. And when they saw him in those uh, blue Union unif uniforms, it really inspired them. So by becoming Union soldiers, African Americans took an important step towards securing civil rights. So, you know, I asked the question on a notebook, how, it, how was becoming Union soldiers an important step for African Americans to secure civil rights? And as we discussed it, we talked about three things. The first one might be when they were getting lower pay. Um, they protested and they actually stood up for themselves. So that's an important step. And also people listened to them because they got equal pay. Also, when, when these... Um, when the slaves saw black Union soldiers, they were really, you know, they, it inspired them to and gave them hope that someday maybe they could do something like that. So that's an important step. It's another example of why it's an important step to, on their, to secure civil rights. 
And thirdly, they actually fought and put their lives on the line for our country. And if white soldiers were putting their lives on the line and they had rights, why not black? So joining the army was a really big step for them. Women in the war. Women took on new responsibilities during the war. They worked as teachers, office workers, sales clerks, factory workers, government workers, and managed farms. Just like in every war, um, when the men went away to war, women had to take over the men's job, and they did so during the Civil War. They also performed many jobs that actually helped the soldiers. They rolled bandages, wove blankets, collected food and clothing and medicine, made ammunition, and raised money for supplies. Some women were actually spies, and many worked as nurses. This was actually the first time that thousands of women served as nurses. Uh, women really didn't work as nurses on a large scale back in these days, especially in the South. It was kind of against their culture. They did not like their women, um, first of all, having to see all the things that nurses had to see, but they didn't like them touching strange men. And they kind of, the Southerners kind of put their women up on pedestals, and they just didn't think it was right. But there was such a need for people to help out, and all the men were fighting. They really had no choice. Uh, at first, many doctors didn't want the women because they thought they were too delicate to do the job, but later changed their mind because of the need. So some women even fought as soldiers. Um, they weren't allowed, but some cut their hair and dressed like men, and they fooled them, which enabled them to fight. A lot of these women that did this, no, nobody ever knew they were women until they were wounded and the doctors had to take their clothes off to treat them, then they found out. But here's a picture of one dressed like a woman and then the same woman dressed like a man. So women suffered terrible loss. They lost husbands, they lost brothers, they lost fathers. And it was sometimes hard for them just to stay home and and not participate. Well, that's it. Here is our uh, notebook. I want you to do the note taker, paste it on this side. I want you to answer the question, why was African Americans becoming Union soldiers an important step towards securing civil rights? And draw a picture of an African American soldier. And then what I want you to do is I want you to do a Google search on Rose Greenhow. And I want you to explain who she was and what role she played in the Civil War. Be specific. Some things to include to get you guys started. Where was she from? Where did she live? What did she do for a living? Whose side was she on? And what happened to her at the end? Some of this stuff is going to be hard to find and you're going to have to look in more than one place. Uh, what I'll probably do in class is I'll probably let you search for 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll start asking you questions and see if we can kind of um, figure out who this woman was. Anyway, that's your lesson, kids. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good day.